Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine. I'm here with Matteo Mancini, who is MSC Cruises Senior Manager, Kids and Family Entertainment. Not just MSC, but also Explorer Journeys. We're going to learn about all that, uh, especially since, you know, MSC is a family-run company, and they are doubling down on that family uh, uh, vacation so that uh, it's multi-generation and it's kids and teens. And he's the guy who's responsible for it. We're going to talk about that here on Insider Travel Report. All right, Mateo, so tell us, before cruising, I mean, you had a huge career in the, the same space, kids' space, uh, and then you made a transition. So give us a little quick, uh, how did that all happen? Correct. Yeah, I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but uh, actually I started to work when I was 10 years old, while I, were, I was studying, of course, but I was doing television for kids and I was a TV host of kids show in Italy and I did that for 12 years actually mm -hmm. and then after 12 years I was 23 years old and I said to my mom and to my dad listen I need a little bit of space I need to find myself and and yeah, this, this TV is too much for yeah, me it was like you know I was 23 yeah. I needed to travel the world a bit and yeah. say okay I would love two months only to go on board and work on a cruise ship. But don't worry, guys, because two months and I'll be back. And see, it's 18 years now that I'm working for MSC Cruises. Right. So you got, a, you got a job in the kids, helping kids on MSC right away and got sucked right in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's incredible. But yeah, that's what it is. And, so, and the other thing I was trying to picture is that the, you were a star in Italy's children, uh, television, and so at least in the med, when they were get, the kids were getting on the ship, they knew you, you were a celebrity. Yes, correct, and this was, uh, of course, an help in the beginning, but then I went to uh, Fort Lauderdale, and I did Caribbean season and U.S. season for the first time, and, and was another yeah. story, so right, I started right. from zero. Yeah, so who are you now? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay. But I'm, I'm very grateful because the experience that I had on television is giving me today the chance to develop an excellent kids and teenagers program. Well, as you were saying, that it's really about entertainment. Uh, as long as it's entertaining, uh, it doesn't matter where it is. Correct. Entertainment is entertainment. And the new generation of kids and teenagers, they know exactly what is entertainment is and, and the various, you know, typology of entertainment that they want. So. And the other great thing is that on, on MSC Cruises, the, um, there's no upcharge. This is a part of the package for the parents and the multi-gen traveler. Correct. So I give you an overview. Right now, we are having over 600 thousand kids and teenagers per year fleet wide mm -hmm. imagine so means on our biggest ship in night season we can have like 2,000 kids per cruise and uh, yes MSC cruises is different than anybody else because uh, we are having our club open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. and our youth staff is bringing uh, kids and teens to have lunch and dinner completely for free entertainment it's all for free there's no fee at all and if you're a parent of babies under three years old you can leave your baby in the baby club and there is no fee at all right. and we're talking about you're you're doing this for 22 ships correct <laughs> and and soon 23 because MSC yes. World America will arrive next year spring 2025 in Miami Right, and so, um, and then that one, can we say that the, you, right now you have an area on a deck, but on World America, you're going to have a much bigger space. World America will be a next level. We will have two decks, deck 19 and deck 20 on World America, listen very well, all dedicated to families with kids and teenagers. Mm -hmm. That will be everything they are looking for. And you have actually won six international awards as best cruise line for children and families. Uh, how did you do it? Tell us about your program. 
Oh, well, um, I would say that the, the key for us is the fact that we want to be different and unique. So we give options to parents, kids, and teenagers. There are some parents that are going on vacation and they don't want to see them kids anymore. So they say, okay, guys, you, you will have your own fun and we'll go to the spa, restaurant, whatever. And we have the youth staff taking care of them all day long, as I was telling you. Uh, but then we have another option because there are some parents that instead say, okay, this is our family vacation. Let's do something together as a family. And so we have outside the Dora Milan youth areas, many family activities, family experience that are great. I can tell you Master Chef at Sea Juniors where kids and parents can participate and be the contestant, which is amazing opportunity. Uh, now you have uh, spearheaded, I would say, because of your uh, broadcast experience, you have created web series and things for the ship, which uh, w I want to talk about because not only is it something that the kids can be active in and get them excited while on the ship, but it then has outreach past the time you're on the ship because they're still watching episodes of this show. So tell them what we're talking about. Correct. So if you think about it, the kids and teenagers that we are having uh, on board today will be one day parents that will buy cruises with MSC Cruises. So we want them to be in love with MSC. And so the experience for them is starting from home because they can go on YouTube, watch a web series, then come on board, leave the real... Be in the series, series, maybe. Be in the series because... They've been watching at home. Exactly, and they ask for it. They want to be the star, and we give them the chance to be the star of our web series. If you go on, on YouTube, you can see Cabin 12006, and you see real kids that are playing together with social media star of course so let's just show them a little taste let's give them a little this is uh this is cabin 12006 what's wrong now chloe is cheating on me the best part is no kids anymore. What's up, guys? It is Max and Harvey. Our summit starts now. Don't even think about it. She's mine. Ma hai detto che veniamo in crociera per divertirci, per rimorchiare. Niente. They find it. Can't open it. This is gonna be kind of fun. Boys are all the same. Okay, so now they know what we're talking about. Exactly. And so when the cruise is over, they go back at home and they see again the web series, they live the experience again, and it's just magic going on. Is there any other outreach that uh, goes on with kids after they, they leave? And, uh, is there? Yes, we, we are producing many MSC originals because we want to be, you know, in their mind. And so you can find on YouTube music video you can find original cartoon around our mascot because we do have a mascot which is Doremi. So you can see the Doremi cartoon and Doremi songs. And and then we have um, trailer of game show and new activities. A lot of a lot of things we have on YouTube. Just go and check it. And so travel advisors can sell this many different ways. The ship. And, and the cruises, they could sell it as uh, for foodies. They could sell it for uh, people looking for culture because of the many destinations. But they can sell it as a a kids uh, centric <laughs> cruise. They could sell it as an adults only cruise with the kids separate. Correct, correct. And and we are definitely waiting for many families with kids and teenagers. MSC Cruises, MSC Cruises is a family company. Yeah. Family company means, in our case, that the owner of MSC is a grandfather of children and teenagers. And the executive chairman and CEO of MSC Cruises are parents of teenagers. So it's a different approach. In the day by day, I can't see it being in the headquarter. They really care about all the kids and teens that we will have on board as their own kids. 
And let's talk about the value proposition of going on uh, an MSC cruise versus maybe a land cruise. Well, um, I would say that MSC Cruises is giving options, is giving the chance to have entertainment completely for free, is giving them family activities and experiences that we have it and the others are not having it. Lego, we do have it. Guinness World Record, the family game shows is another game, another big news, another game show that we will have. And we have it, others are not having it. So there are a lot of things that, you know, are very special. Uh, also, the, the other great thing is that the clientele is international. And this means that if you're bringing your children on board, they're getting to uh, interact with other cultures. And what does that do? It's, it's a beautiful opportunity to see that kids and teenagers from 35 different nationalities are playing together. They perfectly understand each other. Of course, we do have our youth staff ready to translate because our youth staff is speaking not only English, but English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, all the languages that we need. And, and they are doing an incredibly amazing job. But it's beautiful to see how this new generation wants to connect with everybody else. But now, so you're doing all this entertainment from 10 in the morning to 11 at night, you said? And, and meanwhile, uh, MSC Cruises is, is known for its entertainment as well. And there seems to be a conflict here. How do you work that out? No, actually, actually, the experience is not only the youth areas. The experience is leaving the ship with the eye of a kid or the eye of a teenager. All, all around, we do have beautiful shows in the theater, and we bring kids and teenagers. It becomes to part of the kids' Absolutely. events. Absolutely. But so they don't have to be with their parents and still experience the show with their teens or their y youth group. Exactly. That's what we do. And same we are doing in the aqua park, in the amusement, in the Formula One simulator, because we do have incredible Formula One simulator, Cinema 5D. There, there, there's a lot. And we are doing everything 360 degrees, because at the end of the cruise, they need to say, Oh, wow, I did everything I was dreaming of. As a filmmaker, I love the fact that you've got, everyone's got a phone, they're all making movies, and then you have them compete. Yes, correct. The film series. Yes, yes, out. yes, 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 yes. And then, and, 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 you know, young and teenagers right now are our influencers. They are talking to other friends about their own experience on our ships. And so if you see hashtag MSC Teens on Instagram, for example, you see a lot of contents done by our creators. And our creators are young and teenagers. And you're also, uh, MSC Cruises is getting uh, response cards from their guests, but you're getting your own set separate. To, so that's how you keep improving. Correct. Correct. You're right. <laughs> Just, just yes is the answer yeah. to that question because it wasn't even the question, but it was what I was observing. So uh, now let's do let's wrap this up. We, we go out to over 126,000 travel advisors. Uh, you've given some URLs, but now it's about them. Uh, where do they go for information? Is there a portal just for them? Let's give them uh, how to get involved and sell. Yeah, well, I would say, first of all, uh, you can go on our MSC Cruises website, and on the website you have all the information that you need. But also you can go on YouTube, and in our official YouTube channel you have all information about the kids' program and teens' program, for example, which is, which is great. And we did a documentary which is called Doremi Land Dreaming at Sea. It's out on YouTube. So parents, kids and teens, you can go and watch it and you will see from home before to go on a cruise what you will find on board. So uh, there are a lot of opportunities. Okay, I hope everybody follows up. So thank you for telling us. Thank you very much. And the last thing that I want to tell you is the fact that uh, every three months we meet kids and teenagers on board our ships and also in our headquarters and we ask them what you guys want, what you guys like of our cruises, what you don't. And we create, we develop the program around them because it's their vacation, not our vacation, it's their vacation. So that's the way. I think that uh, if you've got uh, multi-gen families looking for a cruise, I think you've uh, explained it very well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.